So, Cody Rhodes has come to this point where you're going to pretend that things never happen. You're going to try and convince yourself you made an example out of me. You're going to try and convince yourselves and the other sheepless followers that believe everything you say that you own me, that you were right. And anybody with a brain knows that that's not the case. I owned you. Plain and simple. Want to talk about the American nightmare? I'm your American nightmare because I dominated your ass. They might as well call you Clown Cody because I straight up clowned you, fool. It happens. Accept it. It doesn't matter how many WrestleManias you've worked. It doesn't matter how many New Japan shows or ROH shows you main evented or you worked in. The simple fact of the matter is, is a wrestling fan pooned you. Period. And yet you still continue to lie, continue to repeat false allegations, and you don't seem to care. And unfortunately, there are a lot of people that will take your side no matter what, even though if you take everything that either one of us has said, put it in a vacuum, and ask people to choose who's right here, the vast majority of rational thinking people, including wrestling fans, would say, I was right. They would pick what I've said, because I am right. Not to mention the fact that this whole thing talking about me starting crap. No, somebody asked me a question. I responded. Even complimented your dumbass, and you're the one that tried to come at me. Well, bitch, you try to come at me, I will bring the whole fucking army with me. Like I'm punked, like I'm scared. Bitch, please. I've had my ass whooped by bigger and better. I promise you that much. But the charges... Distorting reality. Changing your story to fit your narrative. Gross use of the wrestling card. Making a baseless false allegation. These are all very serious allegations. And I view you as guilty of all of them. But I want to give everybody the chance to have equal opportunity here. I want to make sure that we get an equivalent platform. If you are so cocksure and so confident you are right, then what are you afraid of? Step up to the plate, nut up, be a man, and put me in my place. I dare you. I absolutely dare you. Because the one thing I'm not going to allow to happen is somebody to sit there and make a false allegation against me trying to ruin my reputation, trying to ruin my name for whatever the hell that's worth, when I didn't deserve that because, dude, you're the one that came at me wrong to fucking begin with. To begin with. So I throw this challenge out there to you, even though I highly doubt you accept because you're acting like a punk. How about WrestleMania weekend, New Orleans, Louisiana, we have ourselves a good old wrestling court. We can do that. And we can stack the deck in your favor to make you comfortable, put you with your buddies. Dave Meltzer can be the judge. The Young Bucks can be the bailiffs. So they can do drop kick spots in between witnesses and testimony and evidence presented. And if anybody in the crowd gets out of line, any of the witnesses get out of line, then bam, they can do a choreographed double super kick to them. The Bullet Club, Kenny Omega, Skrull, Page, all of them. Bring them all. They can be your defense counsel. Because you know deep down in your hearts, that's the only shot you got. Because the Schleg Daddy's going to fly solo because I don't need the help. Because I've owned your ass before and I most certainly promise you I'd do it again at WrestleMania weekend. The fans in attendance, they'll be the jury. Let them decide. Because once they hear the evidence and what they see the cases that both of us present, we all know how they're going to rule and it's not in your favor. But if you're so great and you're so superior and you're this wonderful professional wrestler, then take me up on my challenge. Step up to the plate, man up, and prove how wrong I am. I dare you. I double freaking dog dare you. Because you know you won't. Because you're a punk and you're a coward. They ought to call you Cowardly Cody from now on. But your little ass list sitting there acting like the lion from Wizard of Oz. Put them up. Put them up. I'm going to kick them for us. Put them up. Put them up. I'm Cowardly Cody. Cowardly Cody. That's right. That's exactly it. But we can do this 
and we can make something good happen. I don't want any money, and I most certainly as hell don't want your money. I don't want your girl, as hot as she is. I got my own decent enough looking black woman at home, thank you very much. What I want is my good name. What I want is my reputation. What I want is my vindication and validation that just because you're a wrestler doesn't mean you know shit. That's what's at stake for me. That's what's on the line. And that's far more important than any payday that I could get from doing this whole damn thing. So let's do this. Find a venue. Some of the fans can take care of it. I don't care. Figure out the logistics. Charge the fans 10 bucks a piece with all proceeds, all not net proceeds, all gross proceeds to benefit the Via Lobos Animal Rescue down there in New Orleans, Louisiana. You may know them from pit bulls and parolees on the animal planet. Cody, you're an animal lover. I'm an animal lover. We can take this situation, this disagreement, and make something positive happen out of it. Absolutely. What would be wrong with that? And then, not only would all those ticket sales go to the Via Lobos Animal Rescue, the loser donates $1,000 cash out of their own pocket to the animal shelter of the winner's choosing. I know you've got a thousand dollars and I'll make sure I bring a thousand dollars just so that way all things are square, all things are equal. And no matter what happens, minus any hijinks or bullet club bullshit, when I win and we know I'd win, the loser donates $1,000 to the animal shelter of the winner's choosing. It would be my pleasure to go into this stacked environment filled with the hardest of hardcore fans, many of whom are going to be rocking Bullet Club tees, with Dave Meltzer presiding over the proceedings, the Young Bucks there, the rest of the Bullet Club speaking there, with all the odds and the deck stacked against me to prove to everybody once and for all that I'm the man and you were a coward and I punked your ass out once and I'm going to do it again. And this time, when I do it, it won't be for free. This time, it won't be for profit. This time, it will be for a greater good. Some worthy charitable causes that I'm sure you would agree would be worth our time, be worth our while, and be worth our dimes. So, Cody Rhodes, for charity, WrestleMania weekend, will you step up to the plate? Will you be a man? Will you prove that you're right. Do you have enough confidence in yourself to step into this very friendly environment knowing damn good and well that the Schleg Daddy owned you once and he will own you again? Or are you going to duck and hide like you continue to do, stay in your wrestling bubble and try to convince yourself and others of how much of a clown I really am? Well, if you want to take me to clown school, then Hong Kong, here's your chance. WrestleMania weekend, Cody. The choice is yours. This challenge for charity, this wrestler's court, I want my good name, my reputation back. And I'm going to come take it. Do you want your vindication? Do you want your proof? Do you want everybody to know how right you allege yourself to be? Well, here's your chance. Step up to the plate and prove it. But I know you won't because you don't have the guts. Because again, you're cowardly, Cody. Put them up. Put him up. I'm the king of the bullet club. Put him up. Put him up. Put him up. You're supposed to be the American nightmare. Why are you scared of my ass?